Now, for those who think that COVID-19 is just another viral infection, our next story offers some perspective. While symptoms can range from mild to severe, COVID-19 is known to have long-term effects on the body. In fact, one of the survivors thinks that it's a miracle that he is even alive. Here is his story. As 31-year-old Francesco Garcia limps across the floor on his walker, with several wounds visible across his legs, it's hard to believe that his condition is a result of the COVID-19 infection. While his symptoms appeared mild at first, a fever and a headache, Garcia's condition deteriorated pretty quickly. I just remember being in the hospital right close to my house. Then after that, I don't remember anything. Because I was like, I was out. I was unconscious, so yeah. I didn't even know that it had transferred me from one hospital to another, then to Loma Linda. That's where I just woke up, where the tube up, tube up my nose and everything. Garcia is unsure how he caught the infection in the first place. His biggest fear was infecting his mother, who was diagnosed with cancer. When he had difficulty breathing, he was admitted to a hospital. The infection soon took over his body and even led to brain bleeding. He was then transferred between four hospitals for proper care. This was just the beginning of Garcia's ordeal. Soon, he slipped into a coma. His condition worsened to the point that doctors even recommended turning off his life support. But his family refused to give up on him. And eventually, Garcia opened his eyes. As the primary breadwinner at home, Garcia was devastated to know that he had spent four months in the hospital. The United States has recorded more than 5.7 million COVID-19 cases with more than 176,000 deaths and it continues to be the worst affected country from this pandemic. The long-term effects of COVID-19 include fatigue, muscle aches and brain fog, along with more damaging effects on the cardiovascular and the nervous system. In fact, the top infectious diseases expert in the country, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says that understanding the long-term effects of COVID-19 is still a work in progress. Before all this happened, I was an active kid. Like, I'll go play basketball, go hiking, bike riding, and all this with my friends. Then when it happened, it eliminated my, my ability for, for, for a little bit. But I just want to get back to to how I was, where my stamina is back real strong, that I could walk without a walker, without any, I like go up the stairs without any help, and I like, probably run and start like to play again and try to like uh, catch up with my life. Garcia understands that the road to recovery is a long one. For now, he is simply happy to know that he will live to tell the tale. Bureau Report, Mion, World is One.